I'm out cutting some wood. I'm taking a little break. Fried up some of the sausage. I made some sausage the other day. And I was, when I do it, I'm careful not to put enough pork in it so that it'll fry without burning, you know, without scalding it to the pan. So that's what I'm doing. Then it's raining, and the dog likes that sausage. Here, mule. I'll give you a. No, 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 no. Back off, mule. Here, give it a little hunk of bread. So I got bread and cheese, and my fine sausage. And I'm up on now first plateau, cutting some oak out of here. Figure I gotta get it before we get snow because I probably won't be able to get up here when it snows. So, take a little break. Temperature ain't that bad, but it's the drizzly shit that's going to be on for most of the day. But, good little sausage. I got quite a pile of it at home that made, but, and it's, you know, smoked. I can actually, you don't have to fry it, but on a cold day, it just tastes better a little warm. Now, this morning I was watching some of the YouTube videos. And of course, there again, people are talking. You know, I, I've never grasped this, but they keep talking about bugging out. You know, that. So it's obvious that they're in a situation that they know is not safe, which evidently when half these people are walking around carrying guns all day, which seems crazy to me, but you got to do that, you should be gone now. But, the other stuff, but if, if things get tough, you know, they're going to jump in a vehicle and bug out. Well, there's no way in hell that's going to work. You know, if anything gets tough, the first thing that shuts down are the roads. So, if you don't like where you're at, you better be gone before you have to be gone. At the same time, these are the same people that, you know, they're always talking, they got to get more guns and more ammunition and you try moving around in any kind of situation like that with, with guns and ammunition, you, you know, the first thing that's going to be is gone. Uh, they're like going to have a mandatory evacuation. They're not going to let you evacuate with all this crap with you. You know, it just ain't going to happen. They'd be fools to do it. The first thing they're going to do is disarm you. Which you're going to object to. And you will die. No. Most of these people in those situations You'd be a lot better off to forget about all this prepping, or at least this bug out crap, and just be prepared to go along with the program because you're going to be going along with it one way or another. I think there must be books and movies and stuff that I'm not familiar with that these people watch and read and get into this theory that they're going to travel the country you know, armed to the teeth, you ain't gonna last long. Because I tell you, there's already people, anywhere you're gonna bug out to, there's already people living there and they ain't gonna appreciate you band of marauders pulling in. It's just a silly thought. Well, all these disaster scenarios people come up with too. You 
No, like I ain't afraid of an asteroid and uh, all this. Economic collapse, yeah, yeah, we're kind of in the middle of that. Just don't really realize it. Greatest likelihood is probably a plague of some sort. Anytime you crowd people together, like you tend to do, something will happen. You can't do it with cows or chickens or anything. Pigs, whatever you got. If you start crowding them, something's going to happen. But, not too much of my concern unless some of you bug old people try bugging out in this area. Ain't gonna last. Oh, well, that gets to another thing. You know, you people, you're buying all this crap. Actually, I think in a way that's we're stalling the economic collapse because we're doing so much business in proper crap. You know, gimmicky little endless amounts of knives that are horribly impractical, guns that are horribly impractical. We're a hell of a business in handguns. Flashlights. Horribly, horribly bright flashlights, which, you know, eat up batteries which aren't replaceable. But at the same time, a flashlight works both ways. It shows you what's in front of you, but it also shows what's in front of you where you are. And all kinds of gimmicky little stoves. People are really into these little alcohol stoves. I, tell you, I do like this little military one. Burns on regular gas. Burns real cheap. That's the stove for me. And it's proven. Use stuff that's proven. Don't be using this gimmicky crap. Like, okay, uh, water purification. I, I happen to be in Fleet Farm one day. And I was surprised to see on the shelf here was this new magazine, which I had never seen before, called I Am Prepared or something like this, you know. So prepper crap is getting to be kind of mainstream. But looking in this magazine, and here they're selling all these water filtration systems, which some of you fools are buying. Well, the thing costs $200, $250. The replacement cartridges for filtering it are like $58, you know, that's the kind of crap that's going to be just thrown away. You know, it amazes me that people will buy that, but like I say, I think it's keeping the economy going for now. I don't know, i got to quit watching them channels with preppers on them, it just pisses me off. But I think, if you're not comfortable where you are, if you don't feel safe where you are, get gone now. Because when it comes time to bug out, you ain't going nowhere. You know, I'm all for it, storing up food and, and that sort of thing, but, you know, the idea that you're going to be roaming the countryside, that just kills me. You'll be rounded up and put in the camp so damn fast if you don't get shot. But you live in this fantasy world. You know what? Some some fantasies are harmless. This prepper thing, I tell you, it could get you killed. 
It's not my problem. I just gotta quit watching them damn channels. And what I was saying about preppers and their fascination with impractical knives. Now I've often wondered how many unboxings we don't get to see when people have hacked themselves with their knives trying to open these boxes. The most useful knife, regular Swiss Army knife, saves my ass many times a day. But people buying all these where they can flick them out real fast. You know, it don't take long to open a knife. But it's like they're going to defend themselves with this knife. You know, it's like they think that they can, you know, fighting with a knife is an art that they don't have. I mean, they struggle, they struggle playing with a knife. And they're going to fight with this knife. You bet. Just silly bullshit. Just aggravates me, like I say, to see well, people living in fantasy. But, Swiss Army knife. The only knife you really need. I mean, I've got other knives. I've got a bigger knife. I've got a caber that I use hunting, but I've butchered deer with a Swiss Army knife. You know, you don't need more than that. And there's one thing that people, I mean, they think it's cool to have this big knife they can flip out. But it's really still, it's socially unacceptable, especially where you people normally are living. You may think it looks cool, but it's very off-putting for any normal thinking human being when you start whipping this knife out. You know. Just silliness. It's, it's like kid stuff that I'm surprised people don't grow out of. But some people just seem to get worse. But it's all knives and AR 15s and glocks. But I live far enough away from you. I figure you'll kill yourselves off before you get this far. I can mop up the rest. The biggest thing you preppers have to worry about, it isn't the military and all this, it's other preppers. They'll, they'll all feel that they have a right you know, just frustrating in a way. But like I say, I gotta quit watching them channels. The whole knife thing, fighting over the knife is a skill that you guys don't have. I don't have. I have no intention of fighting with a knife. I mean, that's a last ditch deal, boy. If you get somebody close enough to be fighting with a knife, you get a problem. But it's true of all, you know, the thing, you know, instead of hoarding up crap, you need to hoard up skills. Uh, even if you have the tools, if you don't have the skills to use the tools, they're just dead weight to you. You know, you really, you need to really learn how to do things, be comfortable with doing things. And, and you don't get that from watching videos. I, I know you, you always think, oh, you, you watch a video and you think, now I know how to do this. There's no problem, I'm prepared. Well, you aren't. A video ain't gonna do it. You, you have to live with it. You have to really understand it and be comfortable with it. Uh, and you aren't gonna get that from a video. It just amazes me, though, what people think they can do, what they're capable of, when I can see no sign that they actually have that capability. 
like I say, I think we've missed a lot of unboxings from Bloody Fingers. But they like to flick that knife out there. Yeah, that's nothing to me. It's not a big problem. It's a symptom of a big problem. But, like I say, I can live with it. You're far enough away from me. get it and still get out here without losing it. So oh, I'm going to have some tea and make my trip and probably come back and get another load this afternoon. But I thought I would do, you know, I'm sure after what I said before, there's probably people chomp at the comments. Well, there isn't going to be comments on this one. It's, well, it's opinion, but it's reality, and I ain't going to put up with stupid comments. And, you know, if you don't like it, you can always unsub. I mean, I, you ain't going to phase me one bit. More than I know what to do with now. But... The world faces enough problems. We got, you know, I got a sneaking suspicion that things are going to get pretty tough here pretty shortly. So you really have to look at the reality of things and quit kidding yourself. I mean, there isn't zombies and all this nonsense, but there is, you know, the North Koreans are ready to play with a long range missile. Of course, the Arabs and the Jews are busy. They've kind of graduated from rocks to rockets, which for some reason we get involved in. I mean, that whole Iron Dome thing every time, I mean, that's that's on our hook again, and every time they shoot that crap off, it's $40,000 of our money goes. You know, I don't know what the hell that whole problem is, and I don't think it's going to have any effect on me, but it's going on. So, oh, things are going to get busy. The economy is kind of going down the tank. And our brand new spanking new and improved president has decided to go on a vacation for a couple of weeks to the tune of about $4 million. Like he's got nothing better to do. But that's the way things work. But, I'm going to have to face reality. Like I said, I think things are going to get kind of tricky over the winter here. I think we're going to have a little activity. So, be ready for it. Underneath your 
gimmicky crap that's going to save your ass. It's common sense and skills is the only thing that's going to get you through. So, work on them. <laughs>